Welcome to BJA Today, and I am BJ Arnett. Today we are speaking with a gentleman who I love to interview, love to talk to. Uh, Daba is a man who has lots of stories to tell, and he's been telling them. But now we're going to get into uh, the side of what he does, all the way from Ethiopia to the United States, right in the Washington area, with Sanscribe. Sanscribe Foundation is something that you're going to want to get involved with, that you're going to want to grab a hold of and get an understanding of. Daba, tell me a little bit about where you go from here. You are a man who has an extraordinary amount of talent and an extraordinary amount of influence with the Ethiopian people and now here in the United States with everybody. Yes. But where do you go? to get things done that you really need to do to take it back home, if you will, yes. for a Sanscribe Foundation? I am a bridgeway that I, I consider myself. There are a lot of experienced filmmakers here mm -hmm. in the United States and uh, film educators, and uh, there are hungry, uh, skill-wise, hungry, aspiring young people in Ethiopia who aspire to be storytellers, filmmakers, so I am a bridgeway, try to connect this. That's what we are, we are doing now. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are three things now we are focusing, just step by step. The first thing is to establish a year-round academy. Now we're doing short-term film you know, uh, workshops and the trainings, online trainings, and uh, filmmakers round table discussions and this all kind of things. We want to promote this, we, we want to advance this to a year-round film academy with structured courses with, you know, in all aspects of filmmaking, uh, involving international uh, uh, filmmakers and uh, educators. And also the second one is uh, collaborating with local f filmmakers, whether professionals or amateurs, and uh, you know, performing artists in Ethiopia so that we also collaborate with each other in and Ethiopia. And working together. Working together in Ethiopia. We are creating forums where they can discuss. We have like a monthly forum, which is Filmmakers Roundtable, where students and the filmmakers come together and discuss about film. And uh, the, the, the last one is we keep on bringing in international filmmakers to Ethiopia, where they train and uh, encourage aspiring film community in Ethiopia. And uh, also, in the long run, we want to involve in production where our graduates will, will get opportunity of producing films, you know, telling the stories. That's what we are doing. But we're, um, for this reason, we're, we're, we're just exploring possibilities wherever, at any level, whether it's financial, expertise, and uh, we want to connect with filmmakers around the world. That's what we are doing now. With the, with the academy thought, you're talking about a year-round education. Exactly, yes, a year-round education. And then we try a year-round education for, for three years. This is our plan. Three years, year-round education. And then we want to advance that, that to a BFA program accredited that college. You know that was going to be my next question. Is it, would this be uh, getting them to a degree and then what would be their terminal degree from, from that? So they'd get the BFA. BFA, exactly. BFA, you know, in film. We, we're, we're aiming at two things, film and performing arts, because acting awesome. and making film goes together. Yes. So what we're aiming to is, you know, filming, film and performing arts separately, BFA in, in performing arts and BFA in film. And we have third, which is, business management, how would they market oh, their story? Oh, I love story? this. That you, you are in my world. We're focusing on, you know, first two, and then we go to uh, just step by step yes. to, you know, film business management, yes. you know, uh, entertainment business man management, yes. actually. Because the they is, have to understand the business. How to run it. And ha how to run it. The creative is one process, but the business process is quite another. Exactly. As you go uh, around the world, and, and you go everywhere, you, you're moving quite a bit now, but as you go around the world, what are you looking for, for particularly from the United States, particularly from um, 
filmmakers here in the States that could help you establish and to continue what you're doing, but also uh, give you a launching pad for the Academy and all of the three different arenas that you want to expand to? Human and otherwise resources. You know, resources. the first thing is really I cherish love. People come, we connect, and they learn about it, and we, we want to see that love and passion connection with us, and then whatever they can, any resource, this could be human, and funding, and uh, we and want equipment. To, equipment, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Equipment and uh, financial and human expertise mm -hmm. and uh, any kind of connection. We're very much open to that and uh, very welcoming. It, it's, it's, we, we, we've done this before, people are doing. We connected with college, with Wagner College in New York, with a group of filmmakers makers in uh, Los Angeles, here with BYOBB. Yes. And uh, there are, you know, also we're now, ven you know, trying to connect with filmmakers without borders, you know, train filmmakers around the world. So uh, we're looking forward to any contribution. There's so much to do yes. and so many things to get involved with when you're talking about Sanskrit Foundation. And I want to uh, just pull things apart and go step by step because there is a lot more yes. to your vision. Right. So we're going to be back in just a minute and I hope you all are getting all of this. You know, make yourself a note, Sanskrit Foundation. You've got something to contribute. So we're going to talk about that in just a minute. We'll be right back. Every day across America, excess food is gathered by a network of good people at local food banks, giving hope to millions of children who struggle with hunger. They've earned their wings, and you can too. Together, we can solve child hunger. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Can you help me with this? My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. Hmm. Sure. He helps me with homework. That would be 3.6795. Thanks. Yep. He helps me with my decision making. I wouldn't use this one. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. I'm learning so much. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? That can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. Previously, I don't know how to write a script and also the criteria needed. Even how to just handle the camera before we don't have an idea. What makes Sanskrit a unique institution is that it consistently strives to improve the quality of filmmaking in Ethiopia through knowledge transfer between established international filmmakers and aspiring film artists in Ethiopia.
Sand Scribe Foundation. I told you to write it down. I hope you did it. We're in school right now. We're learning all about the things that are needed to make this foundation thrive. There's so many things that we do here in the United States that we take for granted. Uh, sometimes we have the ability to go to college quickly and easily for the things that we really have a passion for. But not everyone around the world has that ability. And with Sanscribe Foundation, you can place yourself in the position to help someone who really wants to get involved with filmmaking on another level from a country that you've never been to. So just take a listen to this. Daba, when you talk about doing an academy, uh, a university, if you will, and the layers, the students that get involved from the very beginning, even the students that you have now, have needs that not only encompass the filmmaking, but there's just need to live life every day. Ethiopia is not a rich country. No. Talk to us about how the foundation itself will use the things that you are able to receive from the United States and from all over the world. Well, definitely. These this students are, so far, we're, what we're trying to do now is we're not charging anything so far for the last six years because wow. almost the the major uh, number, 85% cannot even afford to pay anything. Right. Even live alone paying for school, even for living, some even walk on foot and they don't have even money to catch a bus. Mm. So, and they are amazing, they are gifted and- The talent uh, is the there. The talent is there. Right. So we're uh, trying to, uh, help this way so when we do the academy one thing equipment and hiring professors and all the administrative expenses and also we want to have our own place now we just got a you mean your own housing no we we got a donation for certain time from a un local university called rift valley university this is a private school and uh, the owner of this university provided us a classroom oh, and offices. That's where we are operating. That's and awesome. uh, we are hoping to have our own place and uh, where we can build classrooms and also offices and also labs, you know, uh, studios and those kind of things. And then the other thing is a scholarship for students in Ethiopia, especially the countryside student should get um, money to, to survive and to get education. So we will create a scholarship mm -hmm. for these students. So the money goes to uh, the infrastructure, the money goes to hiring professors, the money goes to a scholarship for students who cannot afford. And when I think about Ethiopia and the United States it, in terms of the technology necessary to, to help build the lives of the, the budding filmmakers, but the technology that we have here, you don't necessarily have there. No, we, you can't even find, it's hard to find two similar cameras, even to shoot, two similar, two one brand cameras, like say. That, and that's the, exactly the, the, what I was the, thinking. Let's say D5. You right. can't find two D5 cameras for one shooting. So. I can say equipment has almost none. When there is plenty, when people, individuals have D5s at any, oh, you know, houses, people just use it for personal use. Yes. And uh, for a school, we don't even have. We run with very limited uh, cameras and uh, editing materials, and uh, that's what we are trying to put together, trying to build, trying to find a place where we can put this thing together so the students will practice and uh, the main thing is in Ethiopia, there are theories, theories of this and theories of that. We're very much workshop kind of thing, where students yes. really practice, mm -hmm. practice so that when they leave the school, they co can confidently say that, yes, I can make a film. So I, they are going to, they are even now going yes. from script writing to, to directing, 
and then two uh, cinematography, lighting, those uh, so kind they of cover all levels of production. Exactly. Pre-production, production, and post-production. Exactly. All, all three levels. Yes. And they do. And also we do, like, we circle them, we team them into five, and then one, one become director, one writer, and then one production designer, and they do that. And then on the next round production, they rotate. Like, the writer become director, the director become writer, and this kind of thing, so that they will learn all aspects of filmmaking. And then, of course, they will focus on what they want. But uh, what we do is for them to understand all aspects of it. So in terms of matching th what is actually happening with a need, you could have students mirror professionals from around the world that would come there. Yes go to Ethiopia and allow the student to mirror the activity or the actual action of the producer, the screenwriter, the cinematographer. You would have a student or several students follow them yes. so that they would actually glean from their expertise. Exactly. You, you, you said it well. That, that's what we're looking to because we can't find sufficient teacher at this time in Ethiopia. Our plan is we're not going to do this forever. Right. For the first four years, mm -hmm. until we get our first graduates, yes, we have to bring all international filmmakers to Ethiopia. And then our graduates, some of them would become assistant professors after yes. four years, mm -hmm. and then that would help us focus on local professors when we do that. Of course, we keep our international connection, but uh, like consumption-wise, that would cut down the number of professors after four years, and then we keep on doing that, and then they can teach themselves, you know, locally. When you look at the long-range plans, yes. are you, right now you're in the workshops and the seminars and in the active participation of actually producing the yes. pieces yes. that they're writing. Yes, yes. What is the five-year goal and 10-year goal? Are we looking at the academy as the five-year goal? The, the academy is a three-year goal, mm -hmm. and then a BFA program is then a four, a four year. In the fourth year, we establish the, the BFA program, and then we start expanding to performing art. We add departments after that, departments, yeah. uh, which is uh, entertainment, business, administration, performing arts, we, we do that. And then, uh, while expanding that, we want to create a production entity that would accept these young filmmakers so that they can practice, they can do, they can connect with the world, they can participate to festivals, yes. they can make their films available in the world, and also they can go into community. And also, we want to create um, theaters along the country, uh, like we said, coffee and film, which <laughs> is where people, you know, in countryside, sit down, watch film, yes. having coffee. Ethiopia yes. is known for coffee. Okay, so we're, 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 we're going to have to expand that one. Exactly. Because you hit on one of my favorite beverages in the world, <laughs> yes, <thank> coffee. <laughs> right. So we're writing our list. We're getting done what Sand Scribe really needs done. So if you haven't put down, how can I help? Write that down. We're going to answer that question in just a minute. There's more to come. Just stay with us. The inherent right to work is one of the elemental privileges of a free people. Endowed as our nation is with abundant physical resources, and inspired as it should be with the high purpose to make those resources and opportunities available for the enjoyment of all. We approach this problem of re-employment with the real hope of finding a better answer than we have now. Did you know kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs? 
Totally. I did. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. It's totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you know that strollers have the right of way on the sidewalk? Yes. Yep, I did. Did you guys Did know? you know that kids who eat breakfast have higher GPAs? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. That's actually what I was going to say. Did you know babies should never touch silver? It's really bad for them. I knew that. Did you guys know that statistically friendly kids have more friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat at the right age and size. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. I'm putting that on my blog. I just put it in mine. We met a lot of young people who are, you know, anywhere between the ages of 20 and 35, um, who are really, you know, have this burning desire to make films that talk about issues that are going on in Ethiopia, that express their culture, that, um, you know, do this. And so that's really kind of what we're all about. Students at Sanscribe were doing a variety of things. They were learning how to write scripts. They were learning some basic cameras, work, cinematography. Also, I think they take, some of them are learning directing, editing, so some of the basics. I did get to learn how to be an actress for the first time in a short film, Yadani, which was uh, made during a workshop conducted by Sandra Scribe in collaboration with uh, a team of experienced American film experts. We're benefiting a lot uh, through the training that the children received because they're making skits and um, uh, dramatic films, short ones, also educational films, uh, like I mentioned about hygiene earlier and they have produced on uh, a film on personal hygiene uh, about 70 minutes. Very good. We use it all over uh, the country. Now let me bring you up to speed. We've got the Academy. From the Academy, we're establishing the BFA program, which is a four-year degree. From there, we're going into my personal favorite, the theater and coffee shop, all in one, so you can see all the great films. And then there's a fourth component that DAPA hasn't really expanded on yet, so we're going to get right to that. Thank you so much. This is, this is so fascinating and so yes. much fun for me, yeah, and I'm you. really yeah. enjoying thank it. You. Talk to us about going from the BFA, the first college in Ethiopia, to concentrate on filmmaking, to the theater with the coffee shop kind of atmosphere where the students will actually be able to have their films exposed to the world. Yes. And then the fourth phase. The fourth thing is we want to be a platform to connect international filmmakers and local filmmakers. And uh, we want to have a database of Ethiopian film directors and writers and actors and producers and, uh, and also the facilities available in Ethiopia for international filmmaking. There are film companies who come from United States, from Europe, from you know, other African countries, you know, from South Africa, from other parts of the world to make film in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is um, has a great landscape mm -hmm. and also uh, production wise, especially uh, with, with a low amount of money, you can produce yes. magnificent film uh, in Ethiopia than expending millions and millions of dollars, you know, in, 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 in the West. So we want to be a bridge. We want to be a bridge. We want to make the resources available for international connection uh, in this regard. So we, are, we already started putting together a database of Ethiopian film crew and film talents and uh, the resources av available in the country. You know, when you speak of having the connection to be able to bring people from the West to Ethiopia to shoot, you're talking about expanding the total Ethiopian financial base. Exactly. That's such a larger picture. Oh, yes. Than, and, and, you know, I, I have to go back to, this was the man they incarcerated for writing a play that spoke in a language that made them uncomfortable. And now your goal is to bring monies into your country yes. through your God-given love of filmmaking. Yes. And the people are so 
magnificent, so loving, and you know, you see Ethiopians here, yes. you know, how, how they're welcoming. Yes. So we want to make this, you know, we want to make this move into internet entertainment industry, and um, we also encourage positively charged film that not only for Ethiopians, also for the world. Yes. You know, people need hope and positive attitude to each other. So that's what, why, what we want to provide. Uh, this is not just Ethiopia standalone. We want to work, work with the world, you know, we want connection and uh, also the, the money moves in and out. Yes, yeah. yes, and, it, and it's an expansive, exactly. uh, uh, growing relationship between Ethiopia and all of the other countries, especially here in the United States. Exactly. With us. Yes. So what I wanted to really get to the baseline of, and because I've had everybody out there writing Sanskrit Foundation, and they've been writing, and they've been making their notes as to how they can contribute. But where do they contribute? How do they get in touch to be able to connect their talents, their gifts, the, in a way that will really benefit the things that you are about to do and that you're already doing? Sanskrit Foundation is uh, you know, a registered, also US-based 501c3, which is a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. And uh, the website is uh, sandscribe.org, which is sand, like S-A-N-D, scribe, S-C-R-I-B-E, uh, dot org. And uh, they can direct, email me, D-W-A-Y-E-S-S-A, D-W-A-Y-E-S-A, at uh, gmail.com, and they can easily access us. You know, uh, I, I have to say that all of the things that you are doing right now are only giving birth to more that you're going to be doing. And it's, yes. and it's really, really exciting. I just thank you so much for being here. I know that you're going to receive a great deal to be able to do all the things that God has laid on your heart in filmmaking. And just thank you for being a trailblazer. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. And uh, I'm looking forward to you know, working together you know, with you and with all uh, BYOBB uh, friends. Thank you so, so much. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you made your notes. And if you didn't, you know how to get in touch. I look forward to hearing from you. This is BJ Arnett, and this is BJ Today. God bless. <laughs>